Visitors from across the country traveled to a Minnesota town just to spend the night in jail. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lordson shows us why that's not the only unusual thing you'll find in Wyckoff, a one-horse town. We have 440 people, and at 5 o'clock, you can shoot a cannon down Main Street, and you won't hit anybody. Quiet, quaint, and a little bit odd. Those are the words used to describe the town of Wyckoff. He basically was the guy in Wyckoff, you know. He lived and died in this very place. Ed Kruger ran the Jack Sprague grocery store for half a century. When he died at the age of 91, he willed everything he owned to the town exactly as it was. Every time I come in here, I see something new that I hadn't seen before. Not knowing what to do, city leaders turned Ed's life and store into a museum. Becky has volunteered to eat a candy bar that's been sitting here not. for 50 years. <laughs> I offered it to you. It's not so much the eating it, although I'm sure it wouldn't taste real great at this point. It's what would happen to you afterwards. Yeah. In this town, preservation is paramount. Because a couple blocks away sits another iconic building that hasn't changed much. Linda, you and I try and avoid jail. Yeah. And in your town, people want to stay in jail. They want to stay. Yes, that's right. The Wyckoff Jailhouse opened in 1913. The marshals were paid $20 a month <laughs> to take care of the jailhouse. It served its purpose for 50 years. And when it closed, the city council thought about tearing it down. But in the early 90s, it was turned into a bed and breakfast. And then a few yeah. years ago, city clerk Becky Schmidt put it on Airbnb. It just blew up. I mean, it, it went crazy. Um, the very first year, we had rentals almost every single night. The money generated from jailhouse stays helps the town pay for upkeep here and at Ed's museum. I can see you got sheets, which are very fitting, yeah. of a jailhouse. We try and keep it all in the stripes. Pretty much everything in the jail is original, though a bathroom and shower have been added. Guests who go on lockdown can stay in a tight cell that lawbreakers slept in a century ago. Are you surprised people want to pay to spend the night in a cell like this? Um, I was in the beginning. Even people in town going, are, why? <laughs> you know. Yeah. But I think it is just the experience. Some guests really get into it, dressing up for their time behind bars and knowing full well that this is the opposite of luxury. And I tell him right online, you know, if you want Taj Mahal, this is not it. I mean, this is roughing it and it is a jail. Even so, visitors have come from across the country and as far away as Australia just to spend the night behind bars. A 110 year old cell block that adds to the wonder of Wyckoff. It's just a friendly community. We have a couple of weird little entities to entertain you with. In Fillmore County, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. How about that? Uh, Becky says guests usually pay less than $100 a night for a stay in the jailhouse. We have more information on the jail and Ed's museum, and it's all at WCCO.com slash links.